Okay. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, as um, last time in the uh, the very first section, uh, the very first lecture, we went through the meshing process of a, a rectangle, and uh, you might be knowing very uh, you know um, uh, a lot of terms. You might have gone through the lecture, I hope. And um, if you haven't gone through the same, you should go through that lecture first of all, and then um, come to this lecture. Uh, uh, the topic of this lecture, this will, uh, this lecture will keep a uh, very short in duration. I'll just tell how to, you know, name the boundaries, different boundaries, because. After all, we want uh, different boundaries to be incorporated in the in the fluent, so that we can put some boundary conditions over there. We can uh, provide uh, the, the conditions, just like uh, you know the um, uh, the velocity inlet, as you might have gone through some uh, CFD uh, lectures, uh, CFD course, that you might be knowing a different uh, a lot of uh, different boundary conditions. So. Yeah, of course, that uh, the domain is to be incorporated with the boundary conditions. How do we incorporate different boundary conditions in the uh, in the simulations? How do we uh, name them? How do we uh, you know uh, make different boundary create different boundaries? Okay, uh, not wasting the time. Let's um, open our uh, the ICEM. And that is um, in our computer. It is here. It's located here. I clicked over here, and uh, it is just about to open. Okay, I'm um, gonna click over this file, then open project, and I'm gonna select the last one that we've already created. That already we've done that. Sim um, that um, the meshing. So where was that located? It was um, in uh, the folder named ICEM, and that was a rectangle mesh. So this was a project we created last time. So I'll click over this and say open. So now you can see this project is open. And you can see a lot of um, blocking um, options that are available um, under blocking tree. There are a lot of options available in mesh also. If you um, go through the part, you can see that a lot of uh, parts, uh, no, not a lot of uh, um, uh, fluid and geometry and this uh, VOR uh, RFN. Uh, this has a specific meaning, and this will go through in later lectures. We won't cover in this because we want to keep this uh, tutorial as uh, short as possible. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell about this. This is having lost uh, uh, the operations you've uh, gone through, so that you can recover all of them. And you can uh, you can select whatever or what operation you want to go through and what you want to delete. So this is kind of a a recycle bin. This acts like a recycle bin. Okay, uh, not covering too much about this, but um, I'm gonna go through this um, pre mesh. If you click over this and say yes, it will show you some mesh up here. Now, already that was mesh, but it just updated, got updated. Now, we already were having mesh, but we want to select different uh, you know, boundaries. We're going to name them. We don't have any parts here. I'm going to create parts. But the thing is, I don't have under the geometry. Let me just go through. We have curves, we have points. So of course we'll be uh, selecting curves. Maybe you can um, select. Uh, you know, we'll be selecting curves, and uh, this curve, this curve, this curve, this curve. 
will be having different names because you know、uh, you might be th-、uh, you might be knowing that this may act like an inlet, like an inlet will act. This may act like a wall or an open, you know,、uh, this uh, uh, the pressure outlet. And this this one also can act like a pressure outlet. And I'm assuming this to be a wall, just like in case of a flat,、uh, you know, two D flow or a flat plate. So this. Uh, the bottom one will be a flat plate over the ground. Let's say this is over the ground, and this is a flat plate, and the flow will be over this、um, plate, and this is our domain of interest. So of course, this will be a wall, and this can act like a, you know,、uh, the pressure outlet or Maybe more correctly, you can say it's.、Uh, you can say some wall. It may act if it is not open, if it is bounded by a, another wall or another plate, flat plate, just like in coit plate, uh, coit uh, flows. So two parallel plates. So it may act like a wall. Suppose we,、uh, for this tutorial, we'll have to go through、uh, some assumptions. Let's say we're we want to simulate our our、um, you know the domain. We're gonna simulate a quit flow, and we're gonna select two parallel plates. So this will be a plate, and this bottom one will be also, will also be a plate. That means、um, this will act like a wall, and this will also Act like a wall. This will be a velocity inlet. And this will be an outlet, pressure outlet maybe. So I'm gonna name just random names so that you can name、uh, we can remember them for later assignments of different boundary conditions. So what is the process? Click over part, right click over there, and just you know. Say create part, create part, and you just can maybe、um, you can select first. You can select some entity. It's saying it's asking about entity, so I'm gonna click over this, and it is saying me select entities with the left button and middle button for the done. So I'm gonna select this one. You can see that it has turned into. Uh, a black line. I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna put some name. Say I'm gonna put inlet, and I'm gonna say、uh, middle button. So it has been created, and you can see here that this inlet has been created. Now,、uh, this is again asking me to put some, you know, to select. Some other、uh, entity. You can see the boundary we're gonna assign. That boundary we're gonna select. So I'm gonna select this、uh, outlet. I'm gonna click over this, and I'm gonna enter this outlet. I'm gonna say、um, middle button. I'm gonna click over this.、Um, In other words, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna push this、um, wheel, mouse wheel. Okay, I'm clicked. Now again, is、um, you can see that this outlet has been created. I'm gonna again select this, the bottom one, and、um, I'm gonna say this to be the plate. And I'm gonna click. Middle button done. You can see here plate has also been created. Now I'm going to select this the top one, and I'm going to say uh, maybe uh, the plate. Oh, a good assignment will be upper plate, and say 
uh, middle button now I have assigned all the boundaries now my domain is because it was having four boundaries for curves I've assigned all of them a name so I'm done with the boundary assignments so I'm gonna uh, click the middle button to get out of this command of selection now uh, as I can see that uh, I have all these um, you know for assignments say um, the part uh, the first one is um, inlet then outlet then a plate and the upper plate so I have all these um, boundaries now I'm gonna generate again this mesh I'm gonna click over this pre mesh and again I'm gonna click over this so it doesn't appear to be any change so it's um better uh, that means we are already having some uh the Uh, you know the mesh. I'm gonna uh, uh, say uh, pre-mesh. Right click and say convert to on structure because this is the second last. I can say second last step before exporting the mesh. It's kind of a regeneration of the mesh. So I'm gonna. This is asking me that it is showing a message saying mesh already exists. That means it's asking merge, replace, or cancel. If you merge, there will be a problem. Never merge the meshes. It will be kind of a, it will act like a double mesh. And this is not going to be a double mesh. It is, of course, we have already selected some mesh conditions. I'm going to replace this. So now I uh, replaced, created to unstructured mesh. Now I'm gonna uh, put uh, the mesh, export the mesh. Select solver, say apply because this is ANSYS Fluent. I'm gonna say ANSYS Fluent, apply. Then the last option is write input. Say current project first. You can see, yes, of course, this will be replaced. And now again, again, I was asking about uh, which unstructured mesh you want to select. I'm going to say rectangle dot units. That means rectangular unstructured mesh. I'm going to say open. This is a 2D mesh, and I'm going to rename this mesh as a rectangle, or maybe a flat plate and see done mm, okay let's go into the folder and let's check if file generated if the mesh has really been generated I'm gonna click over um, this um, ICEM folder and I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter this rectangle and now I've seen um, I see there's some flat plate dot images file and it is uh, having some 108 uh, kilobytes so of course that has been generated successfully so I can close this um, ICE and software and I'm gonna see just I can click say yes don't need to worry about it now I'm gonna see how does it look like if the boundaries are exported mm, open fluent I'm gonna open fluent I have created a shortcut here. You can, uh, you might be knowing how do you open this, as I told you earlier. I'm gonna say it's a 2D mesh, uh, double precision of course, and I wanna display mesh after reading. So all the process is single process because it's not having too many, uh, uh, too much of mesh count. I'm gonna click star, and then it will open up for me. Uh, yeah, I have here a file uh, option, and then I will, of course, I'm gonna read mesh. 
and say um, um, here in this um, D folder, I'm gonna say I'm gonna click and I'm gonna enter enter the, into this ICEM. Then I'm gonna enter into this rectangle mesh, and then I'm gonna select this um, flat plate dot mesh file. Okay, it's being imported. Now, yeah, gone imported. It has been imported. Now you can see that some different colored lines have appeared. It is giving me an indication of uh, the thing that is uh, that the boundaries have been created. And just to confirm whether all the boundaries have appeared into this um, solver. I'm gonna say I'm gonna click and fit this uh, boundary conditions. I'm gonna expand this tree, this plus symbol. I'm gonna click over these. Click here, and you can see that inlet. This internal internal is a domain. There is not a far uh, interest. It just you can see um what the fluid it is having. Say it is internal fluid. Um, internal fluid. Right click, and you can see. Um, maybe you can see here. If you, um, wait. Uh, yeah, no, not from here. You'll be able to look into the cell's own conditions. This was a fluid, fluid, and uh, you can see here. If you can go through editing, this is having a default fluid as air. Okay, so that means our domain is having the fluid, default fluid, as, a, as the air. You can change it. Uh, that uh, we'll be talking about it uh, later on in uh, subsequent lectures. For the timing, uh, our interest was to go through these boundaries, whether we will create all the boundaries. So first boundaries with boundary was um, inlet. Of course, we created. If you, um, you know, if you click over this boundary, let's click, you can see that that well as the inlet by default has been selected. You can see that is uh, by default here also as expanded. And if I click over this boundary, see see the change. Uh, what is it gonna change? I clicked over this. It's showing me the pressure outlet. And here also under power, uh, outlet, it has expanded the outlet one. The walls, of course, on the wall, we have two boundary conditions. Uh, the plate one, you can see here, if I click over this, this was a plate. And if I click over this, the bottom one, this was plate. So these are all boundary, um, these two boundaries are of uh, wall boundary type condition no wall boundary type or maybe uh, you can say wall boundary conditions type or well, the type is wall boundary condition and uh, this is outlet maybe if you want to change this outlet to be a wall you can go through this uh, or uh, don't expand uh, or maybe you can just, you know, yeah, of course, you will have to go through this, uh, expand this, and of outlet, and right click and say type. So there are a lot of um, options available you can select from, and these are the different mount conditions you can select from. So say uh, you want to have it to be a wall boundary conditions. Which one? The outlet, the N one. So I'm going to select this to be a wall condition, wall type. If this is uh, created by, you know, by mistakes and times, uh, fluent automatically, you know, most of the times, fluent automatically um, suggests boundary conditions. It automatically creates uh, based on the names you've already um, put there, assigned there in um, ICEM. So. Those types it comes under those types and automatically generates some type conditions. 
So if uh, you think that it was wall for you, but I mistakenly have created it as uh, a pressure outlet. So I'm gonna right click over this, this outlet, right click and say type, I'm gonna say it's the wall. So it will go under walls. Now, it's gonna ask you some different values. You can say close. Now, that is a later topic, how to set up the solution, set up for the solution. Now, I'm gonna, uh, you can see that under wall, this outlet wall has also appeared. This is wall type and this is outlet. Um, if you click somewhere else and you click here, left click, as you can see that this has come under outlet and this is of wall type. Now, but because uh, this is not outlet, we've decided this, uh, this is not a wall condition, this was uh, an, a pressure outlet. So I'm going to right click over this and uh, change the type the same way we just changed. That was a pressure outlet. Here, I'm going to click over this. There are a lot of um, boundary types. We will be, um, you know, exploring them later on. Um, so I'm just restricting this um, lecture till here. How to, uh, you know, uh, create different boundaries uh, in ICEM. How to create different boundaries so that they can be exported into a fluent and then we can later on you can change into fluent otherwise the previous mesh or maybe I can show you now if you change previous mesh if you want to see previous mesh it won't be having any boundary I'm going to show you the tutorial right now I'm going to show you that uh, demo uh, file read mesh uh, discard case um, new mesh Okay, replace mesh. Uh, discard case, read new mesh. Case, I'm going to discard. Okay, first option you can go because uh, you haven't set any case. A continue. Rectangle mesh. This was our previous mesh. I'm going to click over there and say, okay. So, now, you can see there is no color change in the different boundaries and now under boundary conditions you expand this there is simple geometry all nothing else simple you won't be able to re uh, you know, rename recreate all the boundaries from this cell uh, and and um, I'm not saying that I know everything. Maybe uh, you can create, but uh, but uh, from this uh, at this point of time, at uh, this point of uh, time, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to create, how to split. Maybe there the option may be available. I'll explore later on, but for the time being, I don't know. So it's uh, better. When you're um, generating mesh, it's better to generate your boundaries there so that there's no difficulty in uh, you know, understanding the model here in this uh, solver. Okay, um, I'm gonna finish this lecture here. I'm gonna end up. Uh, any suggestions and uh, comments, any uh, questions you can put in the comment section. Um, thank you. Um, thanks for watching this video. Bye. Have a nice day.